If I want to deploy my Azure function, I can do that by opening the command line with the shortcut F1. I enter the search term Azure function and choose Deploy to Function app. I am asked for the Azure subscription. And then I'm asked whether I want to create a new function app or use an existing app. An Azure function is always only a function within a container. This container is the function app. The function app is used to combine different functions of a logical app. I decide to create a new function app. Now I have to enter a globally unique name. This name is not only globally unique within my environment, but really globally unique. For this example, I choose Learn for D365 Asia Function App. If you do not receive an error message, this name can be adopted. Then I'm asked where this function app should run. The functionalities for the function app are not yet available in all regions. For example, they are not yet available for Germany North and Germany West Central. I therefore choose West Europe. Now all relevant resources are created and then the deployment begins. At the end, I get a message that the process is complete. If I now click on the Asia button and look into my subscription, I see the new function app. If I open the function app tab, I find various other files and data within the function app. You can also see here, for example, which deployments have been made on this function app. Above, I find the functions area and in it, I find my function, Asia Functions Sample. We have now learned how to deploy an Asia function from Visual Studio Code.